I make over $4,000 a day trading this stupid simple options trading strategy. It's so easy that even brand new traders can do it. In fact, last week alone, I cashed out over $12,000 trading only four days out of the week. And if you want to learn exactly how you can spend less than one hour a day and make over $7,000 per week, my name is Ali and I own one of the most successful option trading mentorship programs available online. I've generated over $2.5 in trading profits and have helped over 8,500 people with their trading, 450 of which who have quit their nine to five and are now making over 15 to 30,000 per month, only one hour a day. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can prepare yourself from the night before to the morning of and take a trade within the first 30 to 45 minutes of the market open and make over one to $5,000 a day. I promise you, if you put in the work and focus on this extremely simple trading method, you will change your life. All right, so this strategy really consists of three main things. One, scanning and preparing the night before. Two, coming in, looking at that list, fine tuning it and getting ready for the market open. And then when the market is open, knowing where your trigger levels are and entering right then. Let's go ahead and dive in and teach you guys exactly what it is that I do to find these stocks. And then we'll talk about how we set it up in the pre-market, how we actually enter the trades. We're going to be using finviz.com. For those of you that don't know what finviz is, it's a free tool that you can scan stocks that meet your criteria. Some of the criteria that I have right here is relative volume over one, current volume over 500, and average true range above 0.75, and average volume over 500. Do a little bit of research. It's essentially just finding stocks that have volume that are liquid enough for us to trade. If you want this exact scanning criteria and filter, let me know down below and I'll share it with you guys. In fact, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can have access. To it. We have built ourselves a list here of around 19 pages. So what do we do here? We're essentially what we're looking to do is look at this little mini chart that pops up and see if the stock is of any value. For example, we have Mara here, right? Mara looks like it's coming up into resist. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to type in Mara and we're going to zoom into the daily chart and see what's available. Here. I'm going to create a blank chart so we can see that we have clear resistance right here. We have 200 moving average right here. But really, as we look up to the left, there is really no other resistance point until this little hiccup or this little resistant point right here. when we're looking at this what are we expecting that the price has closed above this prior pivot which is now has room to essentially move into the next resistant point but there's a 200 moving average right here so going into tomorrow we could put this on our watch list with the thought process of hey this is above a key resistant point which is right here and it has room to push into the 200 moving average which is sitting at around 1936 so we will build a watch list tomorrow above key daily level now has room towards the 200 moving average sitting at 1936 worth watching for more upside excellent we have our number one stock that we want to look at now let's go down the list and keep looking so slv this is a silver etf so i'm not a big fan of trading silver etf ETFs or any ETFs in general, but let's go ahead and take a look. The chart looks interesting. We can see this was the last resistant point. Price clearly broke through that. Volume is spiking significantly right here, which is a good sign. Now let's take a look at where the next resistance point. So when we're looking at resistance points, we want to look up to the left. So we're doing that here, but there's nothing here. So let's keep looking up to the left. All right. So let's go to the left. There's nothing. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, would you look at that? We've come into some resistance points dating back to 2000. 13 right so how do you determine the resistance point the resistance point is very simple price moves up hits something and sells off so these two points right here are going to be your resistant point this pivot right here and also this pivot we erase that now we have new points and then if we go up to the left we have this level here and up to the left we have this level here now let's go back to the most recent price action what can we write about this name for our watch list we can now say slv broke above daily resistance now has room to towards 31.25 so the following morning we're going to be looking for moves that are bullish that are going to lead us into this 31 you guys catch my drift and see what's going on here excellent so let's just keep going down the list see what else we can find all right netflix so netflix had earnings on friday go ahead and clean this chart up so you guys can start fresh so netflix had earnings on thursday night and you can see that the earnings popped up gapped up and the move went higher so where is our resistance point right here now if we have to go up to the left and find the next resistance point let's go ahead and do that up to the left obviously there's nothing here because it's trading at all-time highs this was the last resistance point right here dating back to 
2021 and there's nothing right so what do we do in this case when we have an all-time high stock you can do a few you can take the most recent pivot high and low which gives you this resistance of 767 which is exactly where we hit before we saw some selling pressure or you can take the next pivot high and low and you can essentially keep doing this to the pivot highs and lows until you get a few levels that you want to look at so if we're looking at the most recent one this one right here is also valid but i like to look at the one with the most range um that we have within the last 52 weeks this looks good very strong move so i have my notes here i'll write down netflix great earnings gap and go sitting at key fib level worth watching over 767.67 for a move to 792 slash 800 psychological so now we're starting to curate a list. This is exactly what we do. We continue building this list. And then in the morning, we come in and we look at the pre-market to see if that thesis is still valid. All right. So this is coin right here. You can see on our watch list here, I wrote coin and I wrote strong move here and coming into a key level of 212.12 right here. Above that, we got a big pocket with room towards 270. Why? Because there is no resistance overhead until this level right here so this level is a good area and a chunk of move that we can take advantage of without a lot of selling pressure coming in over our head right so that is what we were looking for the following day we were looking for a break of this 212 to be able to penetrate into this big area and take advantage of a very clean move so how did we prepare for this and this is step two is preparing for the pre-market so let's go ahead and take a look at what happens in pre-market perfect so in the pre-market we can see that this is our trigger level 212 12 price is slowly making its way down so it's really far from our trigger so we just have to know that this is our trigger we have to wait for one for this to break or two give us a setup right under this level in order to enter that trade so let's take a look at what happens later in the day so this is beautiful because we can see that price comes up right to this level of resistance, validating that our level is very valid. We get a consolidation and a bull flag. And on this doji right here, in fact, is where I took this trade long. Why? Because we have a move up on increasing volume. We have consolidation on decreasing volume. And this is a sign that tells us, one, our level is valid. Two, we have a strong move and a bull flag is forming under that level. The next step is to take that bull flag breakout, penetrate over this 212 and continue higher. And let's take a look at exactly what happens here now. Boom. Once we break out of that level, take a look at this 1212 level. That level breaks and the volume spikes. What does this tell us again? This tells Tells us that our level was valid stops are being triggered and buyers are stepping in so this is a recipe for a stronger move to the upside you should have good confidence to hold this trade because you not only have a key resistance level you have a bull flag you have volume in your favor and the spike in volume confirmed that the move so we were in on this doji off of the pullback here and take a look at what happens next with this thing. beautiful continuation to the upside as it continued pushing and pushing all the way up to 18. what did we do here guys we scanned the night before we prepared for the morning of and we allowed ourselves to have a game plan now if you guys want an exact step-by-step -step system how you guys can replicate this and you're ready to work with me one on one to continue taking these amazing trades and make anywhere from seven to thirty thousand dollars per month by working with me personally one on one. Click the link down below, book a call with me, and we'll see if our program is a great fit for you. Now, if you're not ready to do that yet, not a problem. Give this video a watch and follow along as I teach you guys exactly how you can become a better trader.